In this glass of milk is high in calcium, but it's also high in animal protein. Know how much calcium is left for the human body after a person drinks a glass of milk? None. In addition to the claim that we just don't absorb any of the calcium from milk, I've also heard this idea that animal protein leaches calcium from our bones. Well, both of those are myths. Now I know some vegans won't like me saying that, but we should be honest about the research. There's more than enough reason to adopt a vegan lifestyle, and the research does suggest that it can be done very healthfully, so we don't need to make stuff up and delve into the pseudoscientific approaches of many carnivore advocates. Now, regarding the protein and calcium claims, it is true that protein supplementation can lead to an increase in calcium excretion in the urine, but this doesn't seem to hold true for protein from food sources, including meat and dairy, throwing a wrench into the idea that those foods are causing this effect. Let's also be clear that the increases in calcium excretion are modest and wouldn't account for all of the calcium in the food, like she suggested. Also, people with lower calcium intakes to begin with appear to increase calcium absorption in these cases to help compensate for some of that calcium that they're losing. And if anything, protein appears to reduce the proportion of urinary calcium that came from bone tissue. This suggests a benefit for bone tissue, not this leaching effect that they talk about. And as was pointed out in this review, there is simply no good evidence that protein leaches calcium from bones. In fact, increasing protein intake above the recommended dietary allowance of 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight per day appears to improve bone mineral density, slow the rate of bone loss, and reduce hip fracture risk. And for the final nail in the coffin, we can look at randomized controlled trials on actual milk intake and bone health parameters, and we see benefits for both adults and children. But this doesn't mean that people need to consume dairy. The available research on calcium-fortified soy milk suggests similar benefits to dairy milk, likely due to the similar protein and calcium content. And there may even be some unique benefits of the soy isoflavones, also known as phytoestrogens, for bone health as well. 